I'm now going to demonstrate inserting an NG tube. I have my supplies. I've got a large basin that I'm going to put on the patient's lap. I have an irrigation tray that I'm going to use to assess um, that it's in the proper place. I've got my NG tube. This is a size 14 that we use on the uh, mannequins. You might use like a 16 in the hospital setting. Clean gloves. I've got my lubricating jelly and a safety pin to pin the tube to the patient's gown. So I've come in and washed my hands. I've already identified the patient and um, reviewed the order. I'm going to put him right up straight and do a lot of explaining about what I'm going to do because it's um, an uncomfortable situation and definitely going to cause some anxiety. Um, so I'm going to explain to him what I'm going to do. And then what I'm going to do is put on my clean gloves. It's not a sterile procedure because because we're going into a clean cavity, not a sterile cavity. Open up my NG tube. And I'm going to measure. I want to measure from the tip of his nose to the tip of the ear and then down to the um, xiphoid process, which is at the end of the sternum. That's just right, right here on yourself. Um, now, this tube has uh, markings on it, lines on it, but I prefer to take a little piece of tape, and I've already prepared some tape over here to mark where I'm going to go to because I usually forget which mark went in and where I was at, so that just helps me remember. Um, and then I would come over here and also open my lubricating jelly put that on some paper and lubricate it really well. Now this, this lubricating gel we don't use in the mannequin, we have some other lubricant that we use. But you would lubricate it probably by about, uh, about that far. I also have a connection port that I'm going to use, and that's going to connect the NG tube to the, um, the suction canister that either is on the wall or beside the bed. So I've got my suction ready. Um, I've turned it to uh, low, which is usually what is ordered, intermittent suction, so I've, I've already established that that's the, the correct um, setting. And I think I'm ready to go. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is assess which nostril that I'm going to use, ask the patient maybe which, if he's got a deviated septum or something which uh, side is, is, is more clear for him. Um, what I want to do is put my hand, I like to put my hand behind the back of his head because when you start going up his nose, he wants to go like that. And you want to not open the airway, you want to close the airway so that you're not putting the tube in the airway. If he can take fluids at this point, that's really helpful. You could have somebody giving him some a sip of water as you're putting the tube in. So I got my hand behind the back of his head. I'm going to put it in the right nair. And you get in the back of the, um, the, the top of the nasal area, it curves, and you'll feel a little pressure at that point. Go a little further, and then, and then you're going to hit the gag reflex. When the patient starts gagging, what I like to do is pull it back a little bit and just say to the patient, all right, just take some deep breaths, and you go ahead and swallow. And when he swallows, you insert the tube as he's swallowing, and then give him a break. And after he's rested a bit, just say, go ahead and swallow again. And usually it takes about two swallows to get in. And I'm not enough. Here we go. I can't quite insert it as far as it needs to be. But we'll say that it's gone down to the tape. Now, uh, before I do anything else, I wanna, I'm just going to temporarily tape it here. I've got some tape that I've ripped in half. It's called like a pair of pants tape. I'm going to stick that on there. an easy task with gloves. And then I'm just going to wrap one side of it around the tube. And I want to check that we're in the proper place. So the two ways that I do that is what we call auscultate and aspirate. I take a stethoscope. I've got my irrigation syringe. And I'm going to inject about 20 milliliters or 30 milliliters of air into the NG tube while I listen over the stomach region, which is just about where you assess to put the tube. So it's an upper left area there. And I'm going to listen. This is where you need three hands. 
listen as I inject and I hear the air. So that's one way of verifying placement. The other way, which we're required to do both methods, is to aspirate back. And I see some gastric contents coming out there, so I know that that's also um, indicates that it's in the proper spot. Some uh, policies may require that you test the uh, emesis for its pH, but we're not, uh, most of them just require that you visualize it. So I know I'm in the right spot. I'm going to finish taping this up, which is much easier to do without gloves on. I'm going to connect. That's the connector that you need that comes with the NG tube. Connect this to the suction source. And then I also want to take the air vent, which is this blue port. It's only for air. It's to keep the tube patent and put about 20 milliliters of air in that. Now I'm going to tape it to the patient. I want to make sure he's got enough room to turn his head. So I'm going to put a piece of tape down here. And pin it to the patient. And I would make sure I've got my suction turned up to intermittent, low intermittent, or whatever's ordered by the physician. And leave the head of the bed up a little bit. And that's it for inserting an NG tube.